Today I'm going to show you how to paint this picture in Adobe Sketch. Now this is not like my normal videos, it's not a speed painting or anything. I am going to show you in detail, step by step, every brush stroke that I made to produce this painting. So I hope you like it. Please comment below if you like the idea of me doing tutorials because it does take quite a while to put these together but I'm very happy to do them if you think they are worthwhile. So here we go. So here I am in Adobe Sketch and I am going to show you how to paint this uh, very dramatic wet in wet sky. I have an, an image that I've downloaded off Pixel Bay for reference. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new project and I am going to choose um, an A4, no, A3, A3 landscape format. That's cool. What I did before, and I'm, uh, I'm not saying I'm going to use all these brushes, but I begin by selecting all the brushes that I'm going to use in the painting because speed is quite essential because the paint does dry out um, and it doesn't make sense does it because I'm working on a digital on a digital uh, surface but you can work it for a certain while and add water to it and make it flow but after the longer you leave it it does seem to lose that property and it becomes appears to be dry so anyway the first brush is this one, and oh, I have to hold it down. That should say watercolour flat brush, that's cool. So the next one I'm going to go and change that to, it's thick acrylic, but I want the watercolour round brush. And then the third one, this one, I want to use the... Um, it's quite a nice fuzzy edged smudge brush. So those are the three brushes I'm going to use and I can use the pencil. There's not a lot to sketch in on this but I'm going to, I might as well because if you want to have a go at sketching in, you can. If it helps you and um, I probably wouldn't normally do this. I'm working on the background. Maybe I should have created a sketch layer for this. Let me undo that. I had troubles with this before. So I'm going to go... Oh no, I am on the sketch layer. Oh, start again. I've got such a small foreground because this painting is really all about... Uh, the sky, so nothing, nothing else is really just just to turn it into a painting really so just as loosely sketching in lots of this stuff there that's my drawing done I'm going to lock that layer if I can work out how to do it um, can I lock it duplicate, delete doesn't appear as I can. Okay. Let's create a new layer then. New sketch layer. And let's start painting. Now I'm actually recording with a camera as well as the station today because sometimes I'm doing stuff with the pen that you won't see just using the um, screen capture mode. But I'm going to begin with the wet in wet brush. Uh, if I select that, I can then change the size. And I can go quite big with this, which is cool. And I'm going to choose a colour that is very close to white. But it does have a little bit of cream to it. There we go. And I'm going to get this over the old of the paper. So this is adding like the first initial wet wash. I 
And there's no real control in what we're going to get going here. I'm going to go over the uh, sketch as well. It's almost obliterated that. Right, and then I'm going to choose. Let's let's go with this sort of yellowy orange. Let's put some of that in the foreground. And it's already so you can see it's starting to flow, so that's cool. I'm just going to knock that back a bit. Just here. There we are. And then I'm going to go for a blue, quite a deep one. I'm looking for a colour that would be similar to ultramarine and I'm just going to get this on, on it on the page quick as I can. I notice I'm leaving sort of white lines and let's go back to that white I do find it difficult to talk and paint at the same time. So, um, because I'm doing this live, I normally do voiceovers. I find that much easier uh, to do the voiceovers so I can concentrate on the painting. I'll go for another dark colour. Let's make it a bit grey if I can. Maybe just change the size a bit. Is that flowing? I believe it is. Still trying to leave these white edges, these wispy edges. And then I'm going to take the flow right down to nothing. And this is the bit that you wouldn't see because I'm just trying to put water over that edge. So if I can get them to flow together. See how it's pushing the paint? The yellow has dried, so it's not having any. It doesn't seem to have any effect on that. If I put that down there, so I'm going to create a new layer, and I, I do this in. If I'm doing a real wall to color, I would let that dry. I, I'd never use an air dry. I wouldn't use an air dry on it because I, I find that kind of. Um, dulls, dulls the colour, it takes the vibrancy out of it. I'd let it dry naturally. So I'd probably have to leave that an hour or two and then come back to it. And then with my new layer, just put the um, flow back up a bit. And let's add some more of these colours in. Notice that's all nice flowing now. I want to try and lose these odd edges.
Maybe just let's change the colour a little bit. I'm just going to go slightly towards the green side of the spectrum. Knock that flow down. Get some water in there. You can't see if it's actually doing anything, but it does flow. So there you can see we're getting this sort of dramatic sky. So, I'm now going to change brushes. Let's go to this watercolour brush, this round brush, because this is, oops, wrong colour. It's a much smaller brush. Let's see if I can get some sort of wispy bits under here. Hopefully, will flow out. And go up to the whiter side of things. Put this cloud in there. And just sort of pick out. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite liking that. I'm now going to go in for an orangey colour. And I'm going to try and build up this. Get a bigger brush perhaps. I don't know whether to go for the slightly more red. And then I want some white. Just to blend that off there. Let's get the blue back. I might need to go back to my other brush. This effect that we get in here, that would be called a cauliflower. Um, let's let's go with taking the flow down. See if I can soften that off without using white. I'll put a bit of white in, I think. Oops, wrong colour. That's a comment if I can undo it. I've never tried using the undo tool. I don't know if it would take all, all of the, the flow back. Wow. It's doing some crazy stuff. I'm going to change the brush. I'm going to go for this smudge brush. Take the size down a bit. Obviously change the colour. I'm going to go for white. Because the smudge brush, I don't think that will... Um, 
it doesn't flow but it gives you this sort of really soft edge that's a bit too white let's just undo that and um, I'm just going to take the flow down a bit that's better I like that And I'm picking out where the paint's actually sort of found its natural um, place and it sort of stopped flowing. Get a bit bigger. I just want to kind of lose this this edge here yeah I'm liking that right let's create a new layer so that's my sky finish really but you know let's turn this into a proper painting so I'm going to use this uh, grungy brush again, change the colour to uh, an orange, a bit more earthy though, uh, yeah that's what I'm looking for, I think, and let's put that in at the bottom, liking this, Change it to, that's, I quite like, it's got a, a, a fleck of green in there. Why not? Let's do it. Size down. Got this sort of green field. So as you can see, this painting has not taken long at all. <laughs> oh my god, is that level? I don't think so. Um, let's undo that. Try again. I suppose I could put my sketch layer at the top of the stack there. Oh, that was a pretty good guess. Um, let's go for some yellow. So this is definitely turning out to be a wet in wet painting. I'm going to change my brush now. I'm going back to the round watercolour brush and I'm going to choose sort of a purpley grey colour for these distant trees. Pop them in. Strengthen up the colour and then just if I drop it in at the bottom you can see that it flows back up. Let's make it a bit 
bit more colour rather than just the grey that it was. That's better. So it's, it's just like the proper watercolour where it's finding seeking its own path to flow into. I like it a lot. Let's create another new layer. You've got to keep imagining that you're layering up watercolour paint. I like it. Um, one more new layer. This is for the trees. Let's um, go to a, sort of a green, dark green. And I'm going to So I'm not really fussing about putting in a lot of detail or anything. I'm just sort of indicating. Got the light coming that way. So let's. Go for a more of a blue. There we go. Back to my tree layer. Let's just see that appears to have dried now and it's not it's not flowing as it did before. But I reckon I've got to finish painting. What did that take? 25 minutes or something? Let's get it signed. New layer for that. See if I can sign it. Oh, too big. What I normally do is... Um, draw it large and then shrink it. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to sign it with a pencil. There we go. That's it. How to paint a watercolour sky in Adobe Sketch. So, thanks for staying with me for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, a big thumbs up, always appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I have lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.